Also tonight, a murder-suicide investigation is underway after two people were found dead. Now, it involved a young couple in Salt Lake City, happened in the area of 1800 East Ramona Avenue. That is where we find ABC 4's Nick McGurk with the latest information. Nick. And this is where it happened, the murder-suicide in the home behind me. And now the University of Utah medical community, they are mourning the loss of one of their own. Everybody has problems in their lives, and this just isn't the answer to it. Neighbors reacting to news. The 27-year-old Sarah Howley was killed inside this home in Sugar House last night. Police say Holly, a resident at the University of Utah Medical School, was killed by her boyfriend, 30-year-old Travis Geddes. She had this wonderful career uh, going, very high stress, and it's just sad. It's incredibly sad. In a statement, the University of Utah says Howley was a bright young family medicine resident. Quote, Dr. Howley came to University of Utah Health from UC San Francisco to continue her passion of providing care to women and children in underserved communities. It was very unexpected um, and disbelief for sure. Liam Armour's girlfriend lives in the basement of the home, so he's met Howley and Gettys in the past. We had heard some fighting. Um, just verbal. Police say Howley and Gettys were both renters in the Sugar House home. When police arrived last night, both were found dead. It's very tragic anytime you have something like this happens, and that's why we don't know if there were previous cases of domestic violence, but none had been reported to police. That's why we encourage people to report. Um, we have resources available to help get people out of um, serious situations or violent situations, and the last thing we ever want is something tragic like this to happen. It's just such a horrible waste. And you hear police talking about reporting there. It is so important. If you or someone that you know is going through this, there are so many resources online. As far as what this murder-suicide, uh, what caused it, and what weapon might have been used, uh, we have not heard any of that information from police. Of course, autopsies at this point are still pending. Live in Sugar House, I'm Nick McGurk, ABC4 News.